Learn what are anonymous objects and what is the dynamic keyword in C Sharp. So these, these are quite used in entity framework and let us first of all clear this concept. First we'll talk about anonymous types. Suppose we have a class X and it has certain property like public string name and uh, followed by your get and set. This class has a name. Its name is X. It is known at design time. It is known to the compiler. It is known to the developer also. So uh, here uh, before I tackle this, I'll just come to one more trifurcation. Let me draw that first. One try one is one participant is the developer. The second participant is the compiler, and the third participant is the runtime. If a class may be known to the developer, if a developer knows the class, then compiler will know and runtime will also know. Such classes are called named classes. For example, you wrote that class class x. This class is defined somewhere in your project. It has been given a name, it has been created by the developer, it has been given a name. This name is called X, it is known to the developer, he can use its properties through IntelliSense. When the code is being compiled, compiler also knows this X because it has been passed to the compiler by the developer. And when the project is running, then runtime also knows it because compiler has compiled it for the runtime. There is no confusion for this X, which is a named class. There can be certain classes which are known to the compiler but not to the developer. Compiler gives its own name to it. So as far as the developer is concerned, such classes are called anonymous classes. Coming to an example, suppose your project needs a class at 20 places. Then a developer better creates a class with the name X and conveniently uses this X at 20 places. But sometimes what happens is that you do not need to use a class even outside the same function. Suppose I have a function and inside it I am creating an object of a class and using its properties but at no other place in the project this class name is required. So why, wh what is the fun of creating this class x somewhere in your project if it is only meant for this function? This class X, if it is not to be used at more than one place, then there is no point in creating this name. So in such cases where you use a class for one place or two places, then uh, rather I would say for one place only, then you better don't name it, don't create in your solution explorer. Just command the compiler to create it anonymously. That is it should give its, give its name itself. When a developer instead of creating a class himself authorizes the compiler to give it a name then such a class is called anonymous. So uh, let us now see the come to the diagram developer compiler and runtime. So this means developer won't know its name. A developer doesn't give any name so a developer doesn't know its name. But compiler can give its name so it knows it. 
and similarly since compiler has given the name and it is passed to the runtime runtime also knows it but this as far as the developer is concerned this is an anonymous so how do you create an anonymous class anonymous class is never created but its object is created you can always create an object of an anonymous class but that class cannot exist if that class existed then it would be known to the developer then it has a name this means you cannot write expressions like this c o b j is equal to new c this is absolute because if this is possible then c is known so one thing is very clear that an anonymous class since it doesn't have any name its objects can't be created like this through c there has to be a more direct way of creating its objects without involving this name so how is that done suppose this is a function fx i'm not writing it with complete syntax that void and all suppose i write object x is equal to new these brackets and id is equal to 10 then this right hand side is an anonym is an object of an anonymous class look we haven't put anything here compare c obj is equal to new c and set some properties on c suppose c is a class having a property called id now you can compare this is known class known class but this one is a dynamic class is an anonymous class sorry not dynamic but anonymous we are not writing any name here so compiler will give it a name compiler will give it any name on its own and create an anonymous and and create a property on that you can assume that you can imagine it like that that when you write a statement like this compiler creates an imaginary class called c at the back end and sets a property id on it that imaginary name is passed to the runtime also but as far as the developer is concerned he doesn't have to create it in the solution explorer the developer is not to be worried about its name so this is a dynamic uh, sorry this is a anonymous of uh, this is an object of anonymous class and having a property id so if this is clear i can give one more example and then move further here if i write void gx is a function and i want to create an object of an anonymous class i can write object z is equal to new id is equal to 4 p is equal to 99 m is equal to x then z is an object of an anonymous class and it has a property called id having a value 4 property called p having a value of 99 and a property called m having a value of string x so z is an object having no known type and we can write object here because every class whether it is anonymous or it is a concrete class a named class not concrete but i would say named class any class in c sharp that ex that comes from object so you can write object z is equal to anonymous so this one compiles and it is okay but how to use now how to make use of properties of z in subsequent lines you cannot write z dot id because as far as this object based class is concerned it absolutely has no properties defined on it so this will be a compile time error compile time error 
because z dot id cannot be used. Type of z is object, and object can store object of any other class. But you cannot use those properties unless you cast it properly. If you are not clear about what I have said, I'll explain it like this. Suppose I have a class C A B C, and it is having a property called public string n. Let us say there is a property like this, and get set I've written here. In any a uh, function i can write object z is equal to new cabc and set that property called this is n n is equal to pq something we have set but i cannot use this n even though i know it is from cabc i cannot write z dot n compiler will say z is a type of object and there is nothing called n on object we all know the base class object is absolutely a class having four functions this will be a compile time error how do we resolve it we will generally do is, is we'll cast z into cabc we'll write z as cabc dot n Now casting is possible here because CABC is known by name. But if CABC happens to be a dynamic, as uh, happens to be an anonymous, then what will you cast to what? You do not know this name in case of a uh, in case of an anonymous. So casting is out of question. then the question is if this is function fx i am writing object object x is equal to new id is equal to 10 now the question is of what worth is this x yes x is an anonymous object but what use is x if i can't read or write through this id use of x it appears that x is totally useless to us we do not know its type compiler knows it as far as developer is concerned he doesn't know it if he doesn't know its type then he can't make use of it so of what practical significance here the keyword called dynamic enters dynamic dynamic is a keyword and what it is let me explain first dynamic keyword dynamic keyword dynamic is actually a data type this keyword is used to is is a keyword and dynamic represents a data type just like you have int string char int is a keyword char char is a keyword on the same lines another keyword dynamic has been introduced in c sharp dynamic is a type it is a type that is known both to the developer and to the compiler and to the runtime but this type behaves very strangely suppose i have a type called cabc and if i create an object of cabc then obj dot properties they have to exist supposing cabc class has a property has no function called fx then obj dot fx will give a compiler error but if we talk of a dynamic type and i have written a statement like this dynamic x is equal to something 
and if I write x dot fx then even if fx does not exist on this x this will compile compiler says I am not worried about this object whether fx exists or not because its type is dynamic it is for the runtime to check whether fx actually exists on the object called x x is storing some reference whether an fx function is callable on that reference this is the duty of the runtime. So uh, I had drawn a diagram earlier developer, compiler, and runtime. Developer knows the name of a named class, compiler knows the name of an anonymous class, whereas compiler doesn't know anything about a, an object of type dynamic. It is for runtime to know it. Even compiler is ignorant and since compiler is ignorant it will not give an error if you call any function on a dynamic type. Any function on dynamic type is callable. Anything you can imagine x dot rx x dot hoven you can call any function on a dynamic type compiler will not give error but at runtime if the reference doesn't support this function then an exception is thrown so out of these three concerns runtime is runtime is to have full knowledge of x Compiler doesn't have it, so it allows it to pass. Now coming back to that theory, we we can if we write dynamic x is equal to new id is equal to fifty, then right side is an anonymous object. But if I want to use that object, I'll put dynamic x is equal to this and keep on using x dot id anywhere and compiler will not give error. I hope now this should be clear to you. That is why we use the dynamic keyword. Dynamic is a type. Dynamic is a keyword. It is a type. It is a type that is known to the developer. It is a type that is known to the compiler. Compiler will not flag this error because it knows that its type is dynamic and it, compiler is not supposed to touch it. Dynamic is sort of a VIP. Compiler says ok you pass. If x.id is usable then it will work out at runtime. So this is the way we use your dynamic keyword. Dynamic keyword is anything like you can more see more uses. I can write dynamic d is equal to hoven. And in the next line I can write string s is equal to uh, sorry this is string s is equal to d dot substring 2 compiler will not compile about it if i spell it intellisense won't be available this you should also know intellisense no no intellisense here so if you do not type this spelling correctly then of course this is a type string this string is not going to support that function and it will throw an error here but if you have typed it correctly, then d dot substring two will give you v e n as the output. So any type can be implicitly cast to dynamic. You can cast. There is an implicit cast from any type 
टू डायनेमिक टू डायनेमिक टाइप सो यू कैन राइट डायनेमिक के इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंट इज कास्ट टू के इम्प्लेसिटली नो कास्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड डायनेमिक एम इज इक्वल टू न्यू आई डी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नो कास्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड एन एनोनिमस ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी कास्ट इन टू डायनेमिक बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज इट यू मस्ट यूज इट लाइक दिस एंड इट विल बी यूजेबल सो दिस इज वट शुड क्लैरिफाई दी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द डायनेमिक की वर्ड एंड एनोनिमस टाइप्स सो इन माई लैंग्वेज आई एम यूजिंग दैम इंटरचेंजेबली मेनी टाइम्स बट दिस इज द राइट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम ओके